Hi, my name is Charles Haddad. I'm with the Lynch Law Group. Uh, my colleague Natalia Holliday is here. We're both part of our Estates and Trust Group and team. And today, we want to talk to you about the topic of federal gift and federal estate tax. Chuck, our clients often ask, uh, what is gift tax? So, gift tax is um, a tax on the transfer of an asset from one individual to another. And federally, it's regulated. Mm -hmm. So, um, you actually have to report gifts during your lifetime of a certain size. Um, there are certain gifts that you do not have to report on an annual basis, and they call that an annual exclusion. Mm -hmm. um, that amount each year is different, and it's published by the Internal Revenue Service. Um, presently, the annual exclusion amount is $15,000. So what that basically means, as you know, Natalia, is if you have a loved one that gives you $15,000, um, or less, you do not have to report that to the IRS. However, if you gift more than $15,000, you are required to file a gift tax return. That makes a lot of sense. Thank you, Chuck. Clients are also asking us a lot of times, uh, what's a federal estate tax? So federal estate tax um, is essentially your last gift. But they are unified. So what that basically means is federal, state, and gift tax work together. And um, the IRS um, in Congress actually decides this. Um, but presently, there's a certain amount each individual has during their lifetime that they're able to gift mm -hmm. or die and pass to their loved ones. Um, and that's called the unified credit or exemption amount. Presently, that number, pursuant to the 2018 Tax Act, um, is $11.7 million for 2021. Um, however, it's a very hot topic, and what that basically means is if your assets exceed $11.7 million, you will have to pay estate tax on the excess. And that tax rate is 40%, so it's a hot topic. You can Google it all day long, um, but it, it essentially uh, means if you have less than $11.7 million per individual, you do not have to pay federal state tax right now. However, that climate might be changing. Mm -hmm. What year? So um, that's an interesting question. I'm glad <laughs> you raised that because that is a hot question that, that is being searched. And um, we will actually have some blogs later this year that will kind of go over that topic. And um, we will absolutely have more information on our website about it, but it's called the sunset. Mm -hmm. And just to give you a little preview, what the sunset basically means is um, the way that the 2018 tax plan was implemented as it relates to federal estate tax is at the end of the year 2025, mm -hmm. so come January 1st, 2026 there will be what's called a sunset provision that is triggered if they do not extend the legislation and what that concept basically means is the 11.7 number is going to sunset back to the exemption that was in place prior to the 2018 tax plan just so in, you know that just so everybody knows that number was half more than half lower than the 11.7, so it's 5.49 million. Mm -hmm. And the IRS allows you to index, and they index each year that number with inflation. So it'll be a little bit higher than 5.49, mm -hmm. uh, but that's the concern is come 2026, this exemption is gonna slash in half, um, and uh, assets that exceed that sunset amount will then be taxable for federal state tax. Again, that rate is 40%. You mentioned it's currently $11.7 million. Is that the same with a married couple? So with a married couple, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> um, in 2011, they implemented a rule called portability. Mm -hmm. And it basically is a concept that if I die and I'm married, um, whatever my exemption is, that I did not use during my lifetime can be ported or transferred over to my spouse and added and combined with their exemption. 
to give them credit for both. Mm -hmm. The acronym that we use in Estates and Trust is the SUI, and that term basically means Deceased Spouse Unused Exemption. So, if you're married, um, as you know, Natalia, the exemption amount is doubled. Mm -hmm. Basically, 11.7 times 2, $23.4 million for a married couple. When the second spouse dies, anything in excess of that will be subject to federal state tax. This has been very informative, Chuck. Thank you. I think our clients will really benefit from your knowledge. Absolutely. So, um, we uh, at the Lynch Law Group have a couple different offices, one in South Point and one in Cranberry. Uh, if you ha need any assistance with federal state tax planning or have questions related to federal gift tax, please do not hesitate. Um, you can reach out to me or Attorney Holiday, Attorney Holiday or you can also look us up on um, our website, which is www.lynchlaw-group.com. <laughs> Thank you and look for our next video and blog.